Hi guys, I recently picked up some new makeup products. So today I'm going to be using three of the ones instead of doing three separate videos. I thought I'd put it all into one video. I've got some Dolce and Gabbana. I've got the new Bobbi Brown, it's called the Sculpt and Glow Palette. I actually picked up two of them. I'm just going to be using one of those today. And I also recently got the Byredo Eyeshadow Palette as well. So I've done all my skincare for the morning and I've also put primer on as well. For my foundation today, I'm going to use the new, it's the Guerlain Terracotta Le Tint Foundation. I did an in-depth review on this, which also showed it in natural light. And in that video, I put it on with a brush. So so today I'm going to put it on with a beauty sponge and I'm going to use the one that Rafa gifted me and I've used this sponge quite a bit now and I find it really really good it also washes up beautifully as well so I've just got one pump of the foundation so I'm not going to talk about the foundation too much because you can take a look at the review video if you want to. I will just say that like other Guerlain products, this is fragranced. So if you don't like fragrance in your foundation, then you won't like this. But aside from the fragrance, it is a beautiful foundation. I think it gives a really gorgeous finish to the skin. And I like it either using the beauty sponge like I am today or using it with a brush and this is also it's about a solid medium foundation but you can build it up a little bit more if you want to and as usual you do get more coverage with a brush but with the sponge you can get just as much coverage as well it's just that you just need to build it up but I quite like using a sponge because if you don't want too much coverage with a the foundation, these help to, the beauty sponges do help to sheer a foundation out. And one thing I did forget to put on, which I normally put on before the foundation, because the excess that's on the sponge, I do tap a little bit of foundation under my eyes. But I recently picked up this NARS corrector, and this is in medium, and I normally put this on before the foundation but because I'm not used to using corrector all the time I sometimes forget so I love the applicator of this because it's so tiny and you only really need just a little bit of corrector so I just tap that in using my finger and then for concealer I'm going to use the Dior Forever this is the skin correct one this is the newly formulated one which I really love. So I'm also going to press the concealer in using my finger as well. So I've done my eyebrows, I've put eyeshadow primer on and I've also put powder underneath my eyes. Everything that I'm putting on my face today I will have listed and linked in the description box below. So for my powder I've picked up a new one and this is by Dolce and & Gabbana and I picked this up at Harrods and I saw that it was on their site and I quickly grabbed it and I think it sold out from the moment that I saw it and then I showed it onto my stories and I think also on my community page as well and within an hour or two it was sold out so hopefully it comes back in stock. So it's the Dolce & Gabbana, it's the Solar Glow Bare Skin Beautifier and this is made in Italy. I have used a couple of other Dolce & Gabbana products before. The packaging on these is just gorgeous and the products themselves are just beautiful. So this powder is made in Italy. It has a shelf life of 18 months and I'm not too sure how many grams this has. We'll take a look inside and see if it's on the back of the product and on the back of the product it says it has 6.5 grams of product so I'm just going to hold this up a little bit closer so you can see this really gorgeous packaging it looks like beautiful tiles and from the Harrods website I'll give a description of what they say that this powder does it says the packaging will instantly remind you of the charming towns on the Mediterranean coast it says whether using it in your makeup routine 
or carrying it with you for touch-ups throughout the day. The Solar Glow Bare Skin Beautifier Universal Blurring Powder promises two things, mattifying the skin and minimizing the look of pores. Finely milled with a translucent finish, the lightweight formula smooths your complexion for an airbrush look that also feels natural. And with this, you just press in. I love this packaging. It's, it has quite an old-fashioned type of feel. And with the Delta and Gabbana products, they also have a little weight to them too. They just feel really beautiful in the hand. There is a decent size mirror. And I'll just hold up the powder for you to have a look at. And I haven't even touched this yet. So it feels silky smooth as I rub my finger over it. And when I rub it between my fingers, it just feels just super fine and really, really silky. So I think for the brush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this Sonia G. This is the Face One brush. And I'm just going to swirl it into the pan. And I'm just going to buff it over the foundation. So you can see on this side that I haven't got powder on. There is a little bit of shine there. And we'll just see if this takes away the shine. And I was just having a look at the back of the package for the ingredients. And there is no talc in this. And... I was just seeing if there is a fragrance because I couldn't really detect anything and I can't see any fragrance or perfume mentioned in the ingredients. It has, it's a very slight smell but it just really smells like makeup. It doesn't smell like there is any fragrance in it. So I think this gives a really beautiful look to the skin and I can see that it has blurred my pores through here and it makes your skin feel silky smooth now when it says mattifying it has taken away the shine although i've still got some there so it's not like a flat mat or anything like that so those of you that have normal to dry skin i would say you'd be able to use this powder as well so i think it looks really beautiful and the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous I also picked up one of their blushes, which isn't a new release, and I had one previously in pink, and this one I got was an apricot, which I won't be using today. I'll use it in another video. Now, this is out of stock at Harrods at the moment, like I mentioned earlier, but hopefully this will be back in stock, and if it is, I'll make sure that I post it to my stories, and I'll also put it on my community page as well. So normally I would do bronzer as my next step, but since I've got the Bobbi Brown, the Sculpt and Glow palettes, these are a bronzer, they're also a blush and a highlight in one. So what I'll do is my eyeshadow first. And I picked up the Byredo as the Remembrance palette, and this is the packaging that it came in. The palette itself is really beautiful. It's probably going to reflect a bit there, and it's going to show the mirror in front of me and also my camera, but it is really lovely. I didn't pick this up initially and then I saw a couple of videos on it and I just had to get it. It's a really beautiful neutral palette and I have purchased by Rido eyeshadows before, one other in the big size palette like this and the formula is just gorgeous. I used this yesterday and the shadows just performed really, really beautifully. So here is the colour story. It is a gorgeous gorgeous palette so just hold it up a bit and I've just turned down the light in front of me just so you can take a good look at it so in here are mattes there's satin and also metallic shades as well and even though this is an 18 pan palette I don't think it's overwhelming at all because it's all neutral so you've got some warm some in the very neutral part and then you've got the cooler as well I think it's really gorgeous this has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening and it is made in italy so i'm only going to be doing the one eye look with this today and before i do that i will just quickly swatch it on my arm i'll probably have to use both arms since this is 18 shadows so i'm going to swatch the top row first 
and I'm swatching left to right. So this is the top row. I'll try and get in as much as I can. These are super smooth. They swatch really beautifully as well. And then I'm just going to take the last two shades on the top row. Wow, that one is really metallic. And this one here is more of a topper shade. And then we'll go to the second row. And then I'll just grab the last two shadows on the second row. Just swatch absolutely beautifully. Then we'll go to my other arm for the third and last row. Hopefully I can swatch okay. I'm left-handed, not right-handed. And the last two shadows on the third row. Really, really beautiful. So I'm not going to do anything too complicated. We'll keep it fairly easy. I'm going to go into the shade first. And I'm going to sweep this all over the lid. As I was saying, I used this yesterday. This blends out beautifully. The formula of these, at least the bigger pans with the Byredo, they just perform beautifully. And they are super smooth on the lids. They don't tend to emphasize texture on my mature eyelids. I just think they are a gorgeous formula. Next, I'm just going to go into the shade here. Now, these shadows are really soft, so you may need to tap off your brush. I just tap a little bit on my microfiber cloth in front of me because the shadows themselves are really soft. And then I think I'll make it a little bit deeper in my crease. So I'm going to go to this shade here and take that through. And that's a bit better, a little bit deeper through the crease. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go into the shade here. I'm going to put this one in the outer corner. And then with that same shade, I'm going to use that for under my lower lash line. And then I've just grabbed a smaller Rafa brush. This is the Rafa 13. And I'm going to go into the shade here. I just want a little bit of extra depth just in the outer corner. And because this brush, it's really just like the 14, which is my favorite, but because it's smaller, I can do just a little bit more detailed work, but I also love it that it's quite fluffy as well. So you can use it to blend. You don't have to just put product on and then grab another brush to blend. And then going back to the Rafa 3, go back into this deeper shade. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that just in the outer corner. Then I'm just going to go back into the shade here. And I'm just going to make sure to put a little bit more through here. Because I'm going to go over with this first shade here. It was more, but more like a topper. So I'm going to put that over the top through here. So I'm just going to use my finger. There's still quite a bit of product. I'm just going to tap off the excess on the cloth. It's not quite like the metallic here is opaque, but I still picked up quite a bit of product. So I just want just a little amount. And it gives a beautiful, beautiful sparkle to the lid. It's really gorgeous. So I'll just tap it over the other side. Now I've just wiped down the Rafa 3 and I think for the inner corner I'm going to go into this shade here and see how that looks. So you still get a lovely highlight but it's softer. I could have gone into this shade here but I just sort of wanted to keep it just a little bit softer. I think this looks really lovely. And then I'm just going to take a clean 
soft brush and just go over just to buff out and blend out all the edges just so there's no hard lines there and instead of using an eyeliner I'm going to use the darker shadow and use that just to give some definition to my upper lash line so now let's take a look at the new Bobbi Brown. These are the Sculpt and Glow palettes. There are three different ones. They come in light, medium and deep. And I picked up light and medium. Today I'm going to be using the one in light. These are made in Italy. And each of the three powders inside has 4.5 grams of product. So it's just your standard Bobbi Brown packaging on the outside. The inside of these is just beautiful. So this is in the palette light. And this is what light looks like. It has the pink on the outside. I'll hold it up a little bit closer for you to take a look. And it feels, it has like a, a felt texture. Really, really lovely. And I've just turned down the light a little bit so you can get a good look at it. And they have, uh, it is a magnetic closure. And inside is the mirror, and there are the three products. So you have the highlighter, and then you've got the blush, and you've got a bronzer. So the highlighter is Pink Glow, which I already have. The blush is called Full Flush, and the bronzer is called Golden Light. So the bronzer is probably going to be a bit on the warm side. And they describe Pink Glow as a rosy illuminator. Full Flush is a peachy pink blush. And Golden Light, they describe that as a light tan for the bronzer. So as I was saying, I already have the Illuminator. I think these are beautiful products. So I'll just swatch these on my arm so you can take a look. So got the Illuminator, the blush, and the bronzer. So this is the Illuminator. I think the Bobbi Brown Illuminators are really beautiful. That's the Illuminator. Then you've got the blush. That blush is a really beautiful colour. It looks like it has a little bit of sheen in it. And then we have the bronzer. I'll go over that again. So the bronzer is quite warm. So we'll start with the bronzer. This is Sony G. This is the Jumbo Bronzer. And to see what this looks like. I've only got one other Bobbi Brown bronzer it is deeper than this one so this one is fairly light and it is warm but I wear warm bronzers well, I have them in my collection and wear them quite a bit so this is fairly subtle it gives a really subtle warmth to the skin and it is blending out really really beautifully and it is buildable. Now, this brush by Sony G tends to pick up product a little bit lighter than, say, the Niji Pro. So what I'll do is I'll go over the rest of my face using this brush. And then I'll just grab the Niji Pro and just see if I can build it up just a little bit more. So I've just got the Niji Pro and we'll just sweep into that bronzer. And with this brush, you definitely get more product. But what I like about the Jumbo Bronzer is because it tends to pick up a bit less product. With some of the bronzers that I've got that are a bit cooler and a couple I've got are quite deeper in colour. And I don't want to put on as much product. That's where I find the Jumbo Bronzer really, really good. So I think that that blends out beautifully. I think it is quite a subtle bronzer. I have light to medium skin tone, more towards medium. But this is beautiful if you want a very subtle bronze. And I think this would be really gorgeous on more fair skin as well. So for the blush, I'm going to take the Rafa 24. This is quite new to me, this Rafa blush brush. But... I really like it. It's undyed goat hair and it's a little bit more dense, but I think it puts on product really beautifully. 
and I was lucky enough to be gifted this by Rafa and I'll be getting a lot of use out of it. This colour blush is gorgeous. I think it is such a beautiful colour. And again, it's quite subtle, but it is buildable. But the shade of it is absolutely gorgeous. And this is typical Bobbi Brown. It's really more understated. And they just have... They just have these quite unique shades that just give this very soft, beautiful look to the skin. And I know the illuminator is going to be really good because, as I was saying, I do have this shade and I do love the illuminators. So they normally work really well with this brush. So you can see the beautiful illumination that they give. You can also put this underneath your blush if you wanted to. The other thing you could do with these palettes, and I had a good look at the packaging, is you could also use this as eyeshadow as well. You could put this all over the eye with a little bit of the pink and then use the illuminator through here. I think that would look really beautiful. So it's going to put a little bit more through here. And I do like a highlighter, but I like them on the more subtle side, and that's why I really enjoy the Bobbi Brown ones. But if you put this underneath the blush and then the blush over the top, you get a really beautiful lit from within glow as well. I think this is really lovely. And even though the bronzer is it's a little bit subtle and it is on the warm side, I like it. I like that it is subtle. I like it that it's buildable, depending on which brush you use. I think these are really lovely palettes. And then finally, I'm going to use the new Chanel Coco Flash. This is from the Le Beiges collection. This is number 174 in Destination. And then to finish it all off, I'm going to use the Christian Dior. This is Rouge Trafalgar. So here is the finished look, and all together, I think it's really gorgeous. I do like this powder. I think it gives a beautiful finish to my skin. I'm also going to use this when I go out, whether it's just a couple of hours or for the day. I always pop a powder into my bag, and I have been using the Hermes one that was released last year, and that's a mattifying translucent powder, but I'm going to pop this instead over the next few days and see what it's like, but at this stage, I think it's gorgeous, and the packaging is just absolutely beautiful and like I was saying once this appears and hopefully it will on the Harrods site again I will let you know either or both in my Instagram stories and also on my community page. The Byredo eyeshadow palette is beautiful. It's like the other one that I've got. They just perform really beautifully. They're quite soft and there is a bit of kick up but I think they just blend beautifully on the eye. And as I was saying earlier in the video, even though this is 18 shadows, for some people it can be quite overwhelming, but it doesn't need to be. It is a neutral palette, and you can cut it down into the three sections. You can just look at it to begin with, if you pick up something like this, and just look at these six shades here, or just in the middle, and these six shades, or these ones down here. And if you just start off like that, then the 18 shades isn't too overwhelming. But as I was saying, because this is a neutral palette, I just think it is really easy to use and I just love the performance of them and I think they look really beautiful on the eye. I really love these Bobbi Brown Sculpt and Glow palettes. The packaging is really lovely and they also perform really beautifully as well. So this is the light one and I think the bronzer is quite subtle and definitely on the warmer side, but with the finished look, I think it looks really beautiful. I do love Bobbi Brown blushes and their illuminators. I think their blushes are beautiful. They are soft and they have these gorgeous, 
feminine colors that are really flattering and they're also buildable as well and their illuminators are gorgeous and like I said they're very subtle over the top you can build it up if you want to you can use your finger or a different brush but underneath a blush they look really gorgeous as well so I am thrilled with all the products that I picked up they are gorgeous and they just perform beautifully like I said everything that I've put on my face today I will have listed and linked below I think the finished look is perfect for everyday makeup I'm about to go out soon I've got to go and visit some people and also to the shops as well and just a great everyday look so that's it for today's video I would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time bye <music>